Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you at this time. Lord, we know that your power will work on every life in Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, every sin that hinders greatness, you cancel from every life in Jesus' name. You told us at the beginning, you have a plan for us. You have a purpose for bringing us to this world. And you want to manifest your power. We we'll pray, Lord, everything you have planned for everyone, purpose for everyone, with your mighty power, do it in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know it's done. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Psalm 18, 1 H, 10 and 8. Psalm 18, verses 35 and 36. Psalm 18, verse 35. Thus thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. And thy right hand as holding me up, and thy gentleness has made me great. Thy gentleness has made me great. That was the testimony of David the king. This will soon be your testimony. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me. That my feet did not sleep. That was the mighty performance of the Lord in the land, in the heart, heart and in the life of David. And this is going to be a performance in your life. Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, verse 45. And blessed is she that believeth. Am I talking to believers here today? Blessed are you because you believe. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her, told him from the Lord. We're talking this time on being empowered for greatness. God is the power in our lives. Christ is the strength of our lives. And the Holy Spirit is the light, the knowledge, the comfort, the strength of every life. And since there is the united purpose of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost to make you great, nothing will pull you down in Jesus' name. As the children of Israel were going to the land of promise, like you are going to the land of promise today, they faced challenges on the way. And you would have thought that those challenges will detract or decrease or even delete the promise of God in their lives. Whatever has happened to you before you came here today, all those negative things, you'll never see them again. Exodus chapter 14. Exodus 14. I'm reading from verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Wipe every fear from your heart. I said, wipe every fear from your heart. Because what God has said he will do in your life, he will do. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you. And ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore, Christ 
vow to me. Speak to the children of Israel that they go forward. As the Lord brings the fulfillment of greatness into your life, into our lives, the Lord is telling me to tell you, your journey now is forward. Your journey now is onward. Your journey now is upward. And forward, onward, upward, you will reach that goal. Three things we're going to quickly look at before prayer. Number one, the faith for greatness and a forward match. The faith for greatness and a forward match. Because it is the Lord who has promised the greatness. It is the Lord who is going to perform the greatness. It is the Lord who is going to reveal the greatness in your life. We need faith. The faith that will hold on to it and will not let it go. And we know it will happen. You will move forward. Number two, the favor for greatness and the onward move. The favor for greatness, the favor of God will surround your life. All the people that ought to help you, they will come into your life. The people that will hinder you, God will take them away from your life. Helpers, teachers, advisors, supporters, counselors, all the people that will help you, they will come to your life in Jesus' name. The favor for greatness and an onward move. Number three, the freedom for greatness when the Lord breaks all your chains and you remove all the shackles around you in your mind, in your heart, in your brain, or you physically, it will cut off everything that will slow you down. You will get up. The freedom for greatness and an onward, upward motion. Upward motion. Upward, upward, onward, onward, forward, backward never. Number one, tell me number one. The faith for greatness and a forward march. The Lord has said, tell them to go forward. And the Lord is telling you, if you have been thinking, I cannot make it. Discouragement has come. I'm packing up. I'm going to look for another scene. The Lord says, cheer up. A new day has come for you. All these disturbances and all these Egyptians that you see today trying to stop your onward journey, your forward journey, you will not see them anymore in Jesus' name. Faith, you spell that faith vertically. F A I T what? H. F forsake all your sins. Forsake all your sins. Why? You know, people don't understand what sin does. As we want to become, and as we plan to become, and as we agree to God that we're going to be great, what's the place of sin? What does sin do? Proverbs chapter 5, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 22. His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself. He shall be holding with the cords of his sins. Sin forms a rope, a chain around us. And that chain is tied to the leg of Satan. And Satan it's not going forward. It's not going up. It's not moving forward. Satan is there. And the people that remain in sin, that chain binds them like a cord 
and then is tied to the leg of Satan. But that chain is broken today. You will not remain in those seas anymore in Jesus' name. That's why it says in Proverbs 28, verse 13. Proverbs 28, verse 13. He that covereth the sin shall not prosper, but he who so confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. If forsake all your sins, A, accept him as your substitute. Accept Christ as your substitute. He bore your punishment. He bore the judgment. He carried the penalty. Carried it away. Accept that. That instead of you suffering, he suffered for you. Instead of you being punished, he was punished for you. Instead of you being damned, he already bore that damnation for you. Accept Christ as your substitute. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. He stood in your place. He cried in your place. He suffered in your place. He died in your place. He bore the shame away. It's your substitute. Accept that. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Crouched with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man is born it for you accept him as your substitute I indicate your surrender indicate your surrender all to Jesus I surrender since he died for me that's faith since he bore my punishment that's faith and since he has carried my penalty away I now indicate my surrender. Indicate your surrender. Like Thomas said in John chapter 20, verse 28, verse 29, my Lord and my God. He said, you are now my Lord. You are now my God. Say that the same thing to Christ and say, I will not worship idol. I will not worship tradition. Jesus is my Savior. Say it with your mouth. It is yours in Jesus' name. T, trust the Son. Trust the Son. You trust Him. He is the one that will take you to the Father. And say, Father, I bring another Son. I am your only begotten Son. But this is your born again Son. I am your only begotten son, this one, a boy, this one, a girl. He believes in me. He trusts me. He has confidence in me. He has accepted my sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. I bring him as your born again son. It will happen. I said it will happen. If forsake all your sins. A, accept Christ as your substitute. I, indicate your surrender. T, trust the Son. You'll find that in Psalm 2, verse 12. Just write it down. Psalm 2, verse 12. Then H, hold to the Savior. Hold to the Savior. He is my Savior. He is my Savior. I will not perish. I said, I will not perish. Say it for yourself. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, that's you, that whosoever, that's you, believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 
I believe he is my savior. And when you hold on to that, you are saved. I said you are saved. Forsake all your sins. Accept Christ as your substitute. Indicate your surrender. Trust the Son. Hold to the Savior. Point number two. The favor for greatness and an onward move. The favor for greatness. Now, we know that God is a great God. And he knows what he has created you for. And he knows what you will do that will achieve that purpose to make you great. The Lord has given you some promises according to his favor. And he said, I will guide you, he will guide you. I will teach you, he will teach you. I will help you, he will help you. I will hold your hand, he will hold your hand. He says, anything and everything you are going through, on your way to that greatness, he says, he will not allow anything to stop you. You'll be an unstoppable conqueror in Jesus' name. The amen is dying down. Psalm 32, Psalm 32, I'm reading from verse 8. This is yours. I said this is yours. Every, every corner, you'll find this to be yours. Every crossway, you'll find this to be yours. Verse 8, Psalm 32, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eyes. The Lord says getting to greatness is a journey. The way to greatness is the highway known to God. The road you will take, the expressway you will take that will lead you to that journey till to the end of the journey. He says he knows the way and has given you, this is the favor he's giving you. I will instruct you in the way you will go. I will teach you in the way you will go. I will guide you. You will not miss the way. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41. And I'm reading from verse 10. Isaiah 41. There's a favor of the Lord for you. And this is what he said he will do. And you can rest assured he will do it in your life. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear thou not for I am with thee. As you are going in the day, he will be with you. In the night, he will be with you. That exam hall. Anytime you are going to take exam, you will not be alone. God will give you peace of mind. It will, it will give you confidence that you are ready more than a conqueror. You will not be afraid. After you finish the exam, the Lord himself will be with the people that are going to mark that uh, paper. He will be with them in Jesus' name. The angels of God will be watching over their shoulders. That's a special paper. That belongs to son, so and so. That belongs to daughter, so and so. While you are taking the exam, he'll be with you. While the paper is being marked, he will be with you. And when the result is to be published, they will not give your result to another person. They will not give another person's result unto you. That paper is marked great. The way it is marked, it will come straight to you in Jesus' name. That's why it says in this verse 10, Fear thou not, but luck is cancelled. Fear thou not, what belongs to you will not be given to other people. Nobody else will take your grace. For I am with thee. 
be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. You will not be sick on the day of exam. And when the result is out, you are to enjoy the work of your hand. You will not be sick in Jesus' name. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 43, verse 2. Isaiah 43, verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. The same miracle that God did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The Lord is saying, if necessary, when necessary, he will do it for you. The same protection that God gave Daniel, if necessary, when necessary, he will give it to you in Jesus' name. The favor of the Lord that makes great will never live your life. Psalm 5, verse 12. Psalm 5, verse 12. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. The favor of the Lord will compass you for the rest of your life. Number one, the faith. Number two, the favor. Number three, give it to me. The freedom. The freedom. The freedom. You're free. Praise the Lord. You're free. You're free to go and succeed. You're free to do well. You're free to spread those invisible wings and soar to the top in Jesus' name. Free. Free. You're free indeed. I'm looking at John chapter 8. John chapter 8 verse 32. John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You will read it now. I have known the truth, and the truth has made me free. Anything that will hinder your greatness, God has set you free from them. Number one, freedom from disease, freedom from sickness, freedom from infirmity, freedom from deformity. When you get back home, look at the mirror. You'll find things are different now. When you get back home, check up yourself. All the things that bothered you, tied you down, that made you feel, I cannot, I cannot do that, when you get back home, check up, they have gone. Freedom from disease or deformity. Number two, freedom from demons of destruction. The demons of destruction. The demons that they don't like progress. But for you, there's nothing they can do. Because now you are free. Because it says, ye shall know the truth. And see what you have been hearing since morning. The truth, the truth, the truth. That truth is now in your heart. The truth is in your spirit. The truth is in your head. The truth is on your paper. The truth is in your bone. The truth is your blood system. The truth is entering your ear. The truth is everywhere within and without. You have known the truth. You are free in Jesus' name. Free from disease and deformity. Free from demons, the demons of destruction. Free from defeat or downfall. 
free from defeat or downfall. I look at you today, I see somebody there, you are more than a conqueror. When they say somebody passed with flying colors, that's what I'm talking about. When they said that lady that came out with distinction, I'm talking to somebody there. When they said that boy came out, we never saw that in the disco before. He came out in flying colors with distinction. Where is the person I'm talking about? It is so in Jesus' name. Because you are free from defeat or downfall. Number one, free from disease or deformity. Number two, free from the demons of destruction. Number three, free from defeat or downfall. Number four, free from disobedience and defilement. Free from disobedience and defilement. Jesus is the power of God that makes us obey, that makes us to do right, that Jesus will never leave you. He'll say, put your feet here. He'll say, go this direction. And when you're weak, he'll be the strength and the might in your life in Jesus' name. Number five, free from disappointments or disengagement. Uh, you know, somebody promised you something before, and then after you almost hold the thing, he said, I am sorry. I cannot give that thing again. I cancel that word sorry. They will not disengage you from what you've got already in Jesus' name. If they have not given you yet, you are free from disappointment. I cut away disappointment from your life. Because now you are free from disappointment. You are free from disengagement. Number six, you are free from delays and denials. Delays and denials. Your blessing will not be delayed. Your progress will not be delayed. Your achievement will not be delayed. Number seven, you are free from death and damnation. Your judgment is over. Jesus died for you. He took that damnation away. Now you can go on rejoicing on your way to heaven, on your way to the promised land. The Lord will fulfill it in your life in Jesus' name. Now before you go, let me give you the final injection. Anybody there? What else I'm going to give you? Where are you? Stand up. Uh, did you, what, when they want to give you injection, do you sit now and say, uh, you know, you stand up. Injection. Everybody say injection. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. In Him will I trust. Are you there? Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you and protect you with his feathers. Under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by the day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. At school, there shall no evil befall thee. At home, there shall no evil befall thee. 
on your way. There shall no evil befall thee. In the city and in the village. Abroad and at home. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. To keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread on the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high. I will set him on high. He will make you great. He will make you great. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. What are you? You got it in Jesus' name. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, I thank you. I have you today. I'm on my way to greatness. The face, the favor, and the freedom. Tell the Lord, the face, the favor, and the freedom. All these promises are yes and amen in your life. And it's going to be watching over you until every detail of those promises are fulfilled in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Shoot up those hands as high as possible. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for every brother, every sister, every boy, every girl, everyone here. Oh Lord, cancel all those negative forces in every life in Jesus' name. The strongholds of the enemy in the past that has denied your people from greatness, from the forward march, from the onward move, and from the upward motion. Lord, I pray every negative scene can soon in Jesus' name. All these promises were read. Total freedom. Complete freedom. All round freedom. Fulfill it in every life in Jesus' name. Let there be showers of blessing. Showers of miracle. Showers of deliverance. Showers of healing. Showers of progress in Jesus' name. Break every chain. Destroy every work of the devil. Move every child on to that point of greatness. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. We know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, God has done it. What God has done, nobody will take it away from your life in Jesus' name. 